Let's imagine that we want to delete this row from the tasks table, but we want to do that with Backbone. How could we do that? Well, it's not too hard. I could say var task equals new app dot models dot task, and I'm going to specify the ID of the task that we want to grab. So now if I run task dot fetch and task dot to JSON, you should be familiar with this by now. We have grabbed that row. So now I want to destroy it. Well, I would run task.destroy. And now what that's going to do is it's going to send a delete request to task slash one. And then from our server side framework, we need to recognize that request and then respond by deleting it from the table. Back into tasks controller. Here is our destroy method. So I will say task equals task find by ID. And then you might want to do a quick check to make sure that something was returned, but I'm going to take a shortcut and I will just run delete. So from this end, when that route is triggered, we're going to try to find that row and we're going to delete it. And that's it. All right, let's try this out again. Let's run task.destroy again, go to the network. We can see it did make that delete request. And now if I open up SQL Pro and I reload it, now we have deleted the row with an ID of one from the table. Excellent, that's really easy. So in the next video, now we need to figure out, well, how can we create a model, set its attributes, and then save that to the database? Stay tuned.